as mentioned in the human genome on chromosomes 17, 7, 12, and 2, there are four Hox clusters which are homologous to the one single Hox cluster which is possessed by invertebrates. It seems that there were two rounds of genome duplication which uh, produced this. Now these are very important in giving various regions of the body identity. They are used for identity along limbs, along the nervous system, along the digestive tract, and mutants, especially mutant mice where these mutations are often studied, uh, can be lacking in specific structures such as individual vertebrae, etc. One very interesting uh, group are the last members of these clusters, like uh, say uh, the 13th member, especially say Hox D13. These are expressed at the ends of limbs, and if mutant mice are generated, which are lacking some of these final Hox gene expression patterns, then they end up, instead of having five long digits, to have five shorter di digits, or more than five short dis digits, or even no digits with an L-shaped humerus and an abnormal cartilage plate with cartilaginous rays coming from it. Now this is absolutely fascinating because in the history of fish evolving into amphibians, fish began with an L-shaped humerus and cartilaginous rays in their fins. This was then followed by um, and primitive amphibians which had more than five short digits and then finally amphibians with five longer digits. And so a model for how the tetrapod limb might have evolved would be simply that in the fins of fish and the uh, limbs of early amphibians that these final hox genes just broaden their expression patterns. This broader expression pattern then gave identity uh, to these uh, ends of the limbs which could then be selected for and accumulate new traits.